The reason I love welding as much as I do, and specifically in the business world, is because um, the two kind of really go together very well in the fact that it's probably the most fair thing you will ever work with in the world. Meaning, you will only be as good as the time you put in. It doesn't matter about your opinions, your ideas, your thoughts, your concepts. You can't push or force your opinion, your bias onto welding and learning how to weld or into business at all because with welding, you're only gonna be as good as the time you put in. And it works the same way with business. You're not gonna change the market. That's what you're working inside of is the market. That's who you're providing your service to is the market. So the whole point of this video is actually gonna get into the very fact that just because you have an opinion or an idea does not mean that it's gonna work in your area. The most important thing about starting a welding business is understanding what service you're gonna provide based off of your market, your economy, your area. You can't just say, well, I wanna be a pipeliner and have all these grand schemes and these ideas and you know, get a pipeline and weld machine and you know, just get the weld bed for pipelining. For most of you, you probably know there's a difference between rigging out for pipelines and rigging out for you know refineries and such. You can rig out multiple different ways. But point is, is don't just go assuming that you're gonna be one thing and rig out a certain way because you think you're gonna provide that service without doing any research in your area. It is very important that you take the time to understand your market. See, here's the mistake that I made when I started out and it's very important that you understand it before you get into anything if you're just now starting or want to in the future. The thing is, is take the time to look at your surroundings, your environment, your market. I did not do that. Most of my experience and everything I worked around was in Alaska. So I had my concepts of what services I was going to provide when I started my mobile welding business. I got down here in Arkansas it's not the same way. It's night and day different, the economies are. So where I'm used to welding big bore pipe and pipelining up in Alaska, there's not so much of that here. What's here in Arkansas, I'll tell you, in my area I found out, um, one of my biggest contracts is working on a mill. Um, that's what we got. We've got a lot of mills and uh, food factories around here. And that, that's just kind of how it is. You know, we got Tyson's here. Um, you know, we got a lot of lumber mills, steel mills, uh, very industrial kind of manufacturing. That's, that's what's in this area. So what's really prominent in this area for me is a lot of repair work. Uh, there's a lot of farmers too. So a lot of farm repair, um, a lot of industrial equipment repair and you know, they're, every once in a while they have these, uh, the bigger jobs and the bigger companies that can contend take on those jobs as installation of new piping systems and stuff like that, but I'm not large enough to do that. So that's the other part of that is knowing your market and then also knowing yourself. So there's these big grand schemes that I had had, but looking at it now, one, I don't have the manpower, two, I don't have the finances, and three, I just don't have the networking yet or knowing the right people around here yet. It takes a lot of time to get into the market and get people to know you and understand what you're capable of. But please do not take on a job that you are not really ready to take on. That, that's the most important thing. So look around, try figuring out your market, what's the most prominent and what kind of service you'll be able to provide that's gonna tell you what kind of business you're gonna start if you're gonna start a welding business. You can't just go out there with your idea and just hope it's gonna take off. The market's gonna tell you what you can do rather than you impose your opinion on what you're gonna provide for the market. If the market doesn't need it, then you're not gonna make it very far. If you're just gonna be TIG welding chromoly for some reason or what, whatever reason, or, you know, specialty thing you wanna weld, you just wanna do aluminum, or you just want to do chrome, you know, you want, you want to do the, the really great alloys, you're going to be that TIG guy. But then you live in a place like I do and there's really none of that. Then you're going to probably fail. That, that's just the cold hard truth. It doesn't matter what you do, what you think you're great at. It's what the market's going to tell you. And then the other part of that, like we talked about, is knowing yourself. Know which jobs you can take on. 
and know which jobs that you need to turn them down. Doesn't matter how hungry you are. It's more about having a good reputation and just working your way up to get to the where you want to be, to have that lifestyle you want, rather than just trying to grab everything you can, no matter how big, you'll figure it out and you're going to just cheapskate it. Because if you go way over bid or you go way over time, they're going to remember that. So guess what? You got that job, but you might not get the next one. So pay attention to what your market needs and provide that if you're going to start a welding business. And then also grow into things. That's the best advice I can give you because I'm going through it myself and the mistakes that I had made when I started out was I thought that I could just go in there and impose myself, my ideas, my thoughts, and I was going to do great. Honestly, guys, uh, I'm a pipe welder, pipe fitter. I haven't touched pipe in probably about seven months. I've just been keeping busy with a lot of repair work, and it pays really well here. So that's my thoughts for today. If anyone wants to add to, feel free in the comments like you guys always do. And as always, you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.